It, Chapter 2, is a 2019 horror film directed by the director of the first film, Andre Muschietti, and it stars a star-studded cast of just some phenomenal actors, including James McAvoy, uh, Bill Hader, Jessica Chastain, and, you know, just a lot of famous people. Uh, as the Losers Club, the kids from the first film, they are now grown up, they are adults, and they must face Pennywise 27 years after they previously encountered him in Derry, Maine. So, it was a pretty phenomenal and monumental horror film back when it came out in 2017. It had heads rolling, it had people saying it was one of the best horror films of modern memory. I wasn't as enthralled in it as many other people were, but after rewatches and check out my retrospective on that movie, I've learned to appreciate it quite a bit and everything that it did for the horror genre back in 2017, which was only two years ago, so it's still pretty fresh in people's minds. And now, of course, we have the concluding chapter of that story, which is described very thoroughly throughout the super thick Bible-sized book, It, by Stephen King, which, as you all know, has both the child and adult storylines of the Losers Club. And, like I said, this is the concluding chapter of that story. If you've seen the 90s TV miniseries, you know that we see the kids, they become adults, it flashes back to when they were kids, and it, it handles it a little bit differently than how uh, this movie series was going about it. But they basically end up at the same place we have It Chapter 2, which, uh, I mean, it was being hyped a lot uh, prior to this release. I mean, this was one of the most anticipated horror films of the year for, I think, most horror enthusiasts, including myself. I was very excited to see how uh, the cast and the crew, helmed by Andre Muschietti, was going to take It in perhaps a different direction because these are adults now of those characters that we saw and um i don't know what i'm supposed to say without just just saying it i didn't quite enjoy it as much as it chapter one and i don't want to sound like that's a big negative but it kind of is now let me first say before i jump into comparing and contrasting the two films that one, they both have incredible production value. The acting, the sets, uh, the makeup work, the, the camera work, it's all great. It still carries over to this film. What, what didn't quite fit and didn't quite hold up as well is the entertainment value. The, the goofy, scary, fun stuff where the kids were being scared by Pennywise. Ah! And then they had to face their fears at the end. It was a nice little package deal. When it comes to It Chapter 2, I found myself comparing it far more to a character drama than I would a horror film. This film did not really scare me in any way. Uh, there weren't that many jump scares, which I guess is, is applaudable. But Pennywise does not show up very much throughout the film. And I mentioned in my retrospective of it that it was good that they held off on Pennywise. However, there is a point where we want to see the star, kinda, of the film. To see Pennywise the clown. He was being advertised the heck out of. And out of a movie that's a very long runtime, almost three hours, it's like Avengers Endgame, he shows up maybe for 15 minutes, a lot of which is at the end, I don't know, it feels like it wasn't quite balanced with, with the, the horror elements. What's nice is, though, they focused on the characters, and if you want to see their arcs and their storylines conclude, you will see the finale of their story in this film. However, if you're into the, the real goofy, campy, Pennywise stuff, you're not going to quite get that in IT Chapter 2. There were some upsetting choices made throughout the film, my biggest gripe is with the ending, which I won't spoil completely, but I'll talk about briefly when I get to the spoilers section of this review. I didn't quite like how they handled that. 
And the plot becomes very stale very quickly. You know, you have all the characters, they meet up at the beginning, that's probably one of the best parts of the film. And from there, they all have to go out on their own little character journeys. And it becomes essentially like the first film, but it lacks the pizzazz that chapter one had. There are also just some aggravating choices made throughout the movie. Uh, the ending is particularly something that kind of bothered me, and I won't talk about spoilers. I'll save that for the spoiler section coming up in a bit. But the ending bothered me, and you'll know why. Uh, I also just... The plot got very stale very quickly. You know, the characters meet up at the beginning. That's probably one of the best parts of the film. They get to, you know, bond. And then they have to separate again. And as soon as they separate, it becomes like a Scooby-Doo thing. Like, oh, he's going to come to this guy. Okay, he's going to her. Now he's going to him. And it, it, it just becomes the same thing over and over again. We already saw this in It Chapter 1. And it's back again. And I didn't quite feel the the gravitational pull that I felt towards the child characters as I did their adult counterparts. It's not to say the acting's bad because these actors are phenomenal, but I just didn't feel that connection quite as much, especially with Pennywise and the adults, because simply put, he doesn't really appear alongside the adults all that much. At the end, he does for a couple minutes, but again, I, I had problems with that too. Um, the best parts are the character beats, getting the characters to interact with one another. They had a really cool setup for one particular character, the bully, and I won't spoil that, but if you know how it goes, you know what happens to the bully. And he has a cool setup, I was ready to see some pretty crazy stuff with him, and they end it really fast. It felt short-lived, and... With a runtime, again, of three hours, is a long film, I feel like there was more that they could have done to make it a little more entertaining and fun and scary, and it just goes a very dramatic, slow-paced route. I'm all for slow pacing. My favorite horror films are The Shining and The Exorcist. They're the definition of slow-paced. But you have to keep the atmosphere consistent, and Pennywise was not... His evil presence, I guess, was not felt all throughout the movie, and at times it felt lacking of what made the first one so iconic. Overall, I had a lot of fun watching parts of IT Chapter 2. You can watch IT Chapter 1 almost any time, get intrigued with the story, but this one, this one felt more like, oh, we gotta do this, we gotta see where the characters go, and all that good stuff. It's not to say that it was bad. It's just to say... It could have been so much better with, I don't know, a little more fun added into it. I feel like it almost was trying to be a little too dramatic. Maybe that's just me. One other thing I wanted to briefly touch on before I get to the spoilers is that in the first one, I felt like they balanced the practical and digital effects quite well. They meshed together really well. And I did not feel that in this movie. Almost everything feels super over-the-top computerized. It's all CGI. It feels fake. That's just to me anyways. Whenever Bill Skazgard, who's again amazing as Pennywise, appears, he's great. But more often than not, it's some other goon, some CGI monster, and it, it, it felt like the Blair Witch remake in many cases. With that said... I'm going to give it, Chapter 2, a 3 out of 5 skulls on the R.I.P. Reviews rating scale. Should you see this movie? Yes. If you liked It Chapter 1, see where these characters and their plot lines go for It Chapter 2. See the end of Pennywise the Dancing Clown. I think you're going to find it enjoyable in many scenes. But with a shorter runtime, more focus on the entertainment value that made the first one so special, this could have been so much more. I wish I could have had a higher review for this. Again, I'm not saying it sucked, I'm not saying it was terrible, but it could have been more entertaining like Chapter 1. I'm going to get to some spoilers right now, but I thank you very much for watching this review. Stay tuned for more, and let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Spoilers, you've been warned. I'd 
dreamt of you. I craved you. I missed you. We need to finish it. For good. I've seen all of us die. It consumes us from the inside. Until we don't have a choice anymore. You lied. And I died. So if you've seen the miniseries, if you've read the book, you kind of know how this film was going to go. All of the Losers Club meets up, except, of course, for our one dear friend, Stanley, who has committed suicide, as you know in the book. Uh, they all meet up, they understand what happens to Stanley, they're devastated, and they must face Pennywise individually again to complete a ritual to kill him. And the little payoff is, I haven't watched the miniseries in a while, and I also haven't read the book, so I'm sorry if I'm lacking on knowledge. The twist is, the ritual never really worked. Mike just wanted them to believe that it would work, and therefore it would. Which I liked. The power of belief is such an important thing in all of our lives, really. And it's an important psychological thing, too, which I thought was cool. But the fact that we spent the whole movie setting up this ritual only for it to be <laughs> x-made at the very end i feel like that wasn't the best move that's really my big gripe with the ending plus when they start you know making pennywise small it feel it, it felt like a little generic to me like how they're just like you're a clown you're small you're this you're that i don't know that felt a little cheap and it felt like there could have been a cooler epic grander way to kill off Pennywise than just by calling him names and then ripping his heart out. Just, just me. Also, the CGI for the Pennywise spider thing, I really didn't care for. Yeah, the old one's cheesy, but it had a little more charm to it. I wish this could have been a better practical spider-looking thing. Plus, Bill is so cool as Pennywise, so to see him, like, as a CGI monster thing was just weird but with all that being said i'm glad that we got to see the conclusion of it where these characters have come and gone since their childhoods and to see the demise of pennywise the clown there's now peace in dairy and i hope there's a little more peace in your mind about this film i want to hear what you had to say about it chapter two in the comments down below thank you for watching and remember for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.